Gray power 16 here. Rainy day today. It was a beautiful day yesterday. Today it's rainy. Rain, rain, rain. Although it's quite nice right now. On the way back I'll have to show you my new and improved little garden area. Alrighty. So sorry but I got lots in my hand and I don't want to jiggle it too much but let's turn you around put you on the velcro and there we are that's the best I can do I'm afraid let me lift you up sorry guys Ooh, it's really sticky. I want to put it so that it doesn't wiggle as much. Sure hope you can see me. Guess what I'm going? To La Dollar Tree. The tree of many dollars. I am off. Do I look like crapola today? Not too, too bad. I could use a little lipstick. Little more. Oh no, I put some on. I've got lips, as Susan would say. Yeah, so it's a gray day in the nation's capital. Oh, I put it a neutral. Ah! Oh, oh. La, la 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 I don't know why I'm in a good mood I shouldn't be I was kind of depressed yesterday and it was a beautiful day I don't understand I don't understand it today I'm a little feeling a little bit better a little bit better I have to show you my front window when I uh, come back Ooh, I feel like I'm, you're lopsided. I hope you can see me. So we're off to the Dollar Tree on this gray. The temperature's actually quite nice. It's a grayish day. Grayish, not grayish, it's gray. It's gray, it's gray. It's a gray day in the neighborhood. Hello, big truck doll. Thank you, buddy, for coming, and thank you for sharing, and off we go. Yeah. Oh. Somebody keeps calling me, and it's not a pleasant phone number. Been a lot of telephone scams going on lately. We've been warned about, um, last month I just had one about guys are calling from windows like you know it's either Microsoft or something but you don't call from windows I had fun with him for a while let him chat for a bit oh, stop sign our new shoppers is open I'll have to go in and have a look we were supposed to have a grand opening last Saturday well they did and uh, I was supposed to go but I never made it too busy doing other things. I'm feeling guilty about my uncle because we haven't been visiting. I visited him once in the last four months. Um, we had to put a stop for a while. My stepdad was ill. Mom was ill. I was ill. Um, I found that uh, you know, I didn't know my uncle for years and years and years. And then in the last two or three years, I mean, aside from saying hi on the phone, really, I didn't know him. In the last three years, um, pretty much taking over his children's duties. I mean, not that I minded, it's my mother's brother. But um, he was very demanding, very... Um, uh, you know, as his dementia started to develop, I felt really, really bad because on May 9th, he turned 90. And um, 
we didn't go see him. Well, we couldn't because uh, my stepdad had an appointment. Um, I think I have to check with his daughter, but I think he has like a reoccurring cancer. And rather than give him a bag that's not going to work for his bladder or whatever, um, they're just going to keep operating. I don't know. It's like a day surgery. It's not. It's not major, going under kind of surgery. But still, you know, that's not encouraging. His kidneys are failing. That's not encouraging. Um, Mom goes through bits of depression. That's not encouraging. You know, so I've been busy with them, and I know it only takes five minutes, well, it takes more than five minutes, you know, but say two hours of my time to go and visit, but, um, you know, he's, he's, he's been so demanding of our time, of our, you know, he wants to go here, he wants to go there, and, um, it was hard on my mom, like really, really hard on my mom. Bite me, I can't go. Stupid fool. There's another car in front of me. Oh, I hate that. Don't honk at me. It's because the light turned yellow and he didn't want to wait for the next light. somebody was turning into my path. I cannot make take the right of way to that. Stupid woman looking at me like I did something wrong. She's probably late for work. She looks cranky too. She stared at me with an ugly face like, hey, I have the right of way. I'm ahead of you. I'm driving there's somebody in my path or somebody walking across the road I am NOT going to hurry up just for her oh some people are idiots some people are such idiots I should have gone slow slow she was following me all the way around the corner just to annoy okay we're at the tree of many dollars I will see you in a bit alrighty let's hope this is I always say that, don't I? I hope this is filming. I wonder if I can see it somehow. Through the, through the, <laughs> through the window. I should have a compact mirror that I could kind of get the back to see if it's actually filming. So, um, the purpose of going to Dollar Tree today was, I do have a compact. Isn't this silly? I'm just checking out to see if it's actually filming. And, and I can't see the sun is in the way. I don't know. Oh well. Oh well guys. I'm hoping you're filming. Um yeah, so I went into Dollar Tree specifically specifically because I know I have some packed away I don't know where I don't know where so these are um, garage sale labels um, I know I have some I just couldn't find them I went looking all over last night and then I picked up some uh, bubble envelopes there's two in this package this is more square this one is perfect for um, uh, pocket letters. I got those. Got some bubble wrap because I needed to wrap up some stuff. I do have some at home. And then I picked up these color-coded labels um, in case I want to, like, two, four or whatever, you know. Picked up some envelopes, regular envelopes, um, because I'm going to be doing some snail mail letters. Uh, Lisa from Lisa's Halls has started a, well, Mike actually set it up for her on Facebook. Um, 
uh, a snail mail club. So I'm mentioning it again. I think I did in my other video. I'm mentioning it again um, for Lisa. Because uh, I love you guys. You know that. Uh, I picked up this lanyard cord pink one and it's a detachable because sometimes when I have my keys and I don't have pockets for my car keys um, I really find it annoying that I have them on uh, you know the car keys today are like fat like really really fat so um, I, my pockets are always, you know, some of them are small. So, I got this detachable one so that I could have it around my neck if I want to um, when I'm out shopping. You know, I just throw it around my neck if I wanted to. Actually, would have preferred a thinner one. I guess I should have got a thinner one, but I liked it because it was detachable. So now, my keys, well I can't show you because I've started the car, um, my keys are, are now, they can be clipped onto that so that at least I'm carrying something other than that stupid big key. I was, I took the dog out this morning and uh, it was raining, I'm gonna open the windows, it's a beautiful day even though it's grey, grey day. Oh, I'm super cautious now. I told you that before because that stupid woman hit the back end of my old car. So I'm always watching now. I looked like six or seven times. Shouldn't do that. Anyway, that's all I needed to get. I really wanted to go to that multi crafting store. I haven't been there in a really long time. goodies they have. I don't need anything, believe me. Oh my god, I have got so much stuff. So much stuff. And I've collected stuff for uh, my giveaways. I was supposed to do a video about my giveaways, but I can't do the video until I get all of my goodies together. I cannot believe I have a big bin full of stuff. It's going to cost me a fortune to send it. But you guys are worth it. So, whatever. We got news today um, that uh, MB is cancer free. Uh, she put up a video and she's doing a big giveaway. A lot of makeup stuff. I'm not really into a lot of makeup stuff. I mean, it'd be nice to get it because it's a lot of stuff, but um, oh, I was going to go to Chapters too. I'd love to go to Chapters. I haven't been there since Christmas. It's actually turned out quite warm today. It's a little bit warm. You know what videos I've been watching? Uh, because I'm curious, because I remember the days when we had them. RV uh, videos like uh, nomadic lifestyle, living in vans, traveling the country. And I was watching one, a very long one, um, this morning about a Canadian couple who you know, where they had stressful jobs, they had bought a house thinking that's what you need to do in your life to I'm gonna open the back windows, get some air. Um, and they just found it was just, they were stressed out. Uh, her husband had quite a severe accident. I guess uh, he's okay, but um, I guess uh, two people died in the other car. Um, and they started to rethink which is funny, you know, usually a tragedy like that makes you rethink about your life. And, um, uh, you know, what they really wanted out of life. And they just found that the house was stressing them out. Their jobs were stressing them out. So they've decided to sell the house, get rid of all of their stuff, 
uh, buy a van and uh, travel for a bit, you know, and uh, anyway, it was rather interesting. Um, I personally wouldn't like to uh, travel in a small van, and I'll tell you why. Not because it's too small and I have too much stuff, because believe me, I can get rid of stuff. I've, I've lived in a house that uh, didn't have anything uh, delivered for like three or four weeks and I loved it. There was like nothing in the house, but no. Um, what I mean is uh, that uh, I'm older. There are luxuries that I like. For instance, I love ice. I love ice. Yeah, I could buy a bag of ice and keep it in the cooler and stuff like that. But I also like to cook. Um, kind of bizarre. I, I'm not really... I've only just started liking to cook again. Uh, simply because uh, I've had to make some meals for my mom. And uh, I just started enjoying it. And then I was making meals for my son because I'm, I make big meals, but there's only me. And I mean, it's like, you know, you buy those pre-made pizzas. Well, I have like two or three slices out of it. And then, you know, I got to freeze it or something because I can't eat the whole thing. You know, I may be chubby, but I think it's just menopause. Uh, post menopause. Post. I'm in post. Post, post, and it's the best time of my life, trust me. Absolutely the best time. I'm home. The absolute best time of my life, trust me. Um, I am fortunate. My health is good so far. I started feeling a little creaky after my 65th birthday. I started feeling like, um, you know, my like some kind of arthritis was going to set in, but what it was is just, I don't know what it was. I don't know what it was. Anyway, I'm home. I'm going to, uh, I forgot what I was talking about. Isn't that ridiculous? It's the usual thing. That's me. I'll forget what I was talking about. Oh, here are my keys and here's that little clamp. Oh yeah. Watch it not go in now. Come on, there we go. So now it's bigger and, and you know, I can at least I put it around my neck if I want to. I really like the n more narrow ones better than this. But uh, at least I don't have to carry them in my hands. I've also got mom's keys here on the little, it, all the little um, gems are starting to fall off, but keep those in my car. People see that. They think that I've left my keys in my car. Um, yeah, so I was talking about the nomadic life. And I always thought it would be really, really cool to have... Oh, it's getting hot. To have, um, you know, one of those little tiny homes, they call them, like on wheels? And like park it at my daughter's. I mean, there are certain places, from what I hear, you can't... Um, you can't park in certain places or you can't live in it even in somebody's driveway. I don't know. I have to look up the... I'd have to find out. But... And I was looking at mobile homes maybe a couple of years ago. I was thinking I would love to just move into a mobile home. I lived in one um, in Manitoba when I was married. My daughter was a baby for uh, two years. And I loved it. Um, all of our stuff was in storage. And because the place was already um, furnished and stuff and uh, I really liked it um, it was a big one though it was three bedrooms it was quite long it was narrow but it was quite long but I liked it um, so I was looking at that and then uh, my ex-husband and I bought um, an RV a mi what they called a mini motorhome um, our friends used to tease us because there was a campsite in Manitoba not far from the base where we were living and everybody would pitch the tents and stuff where well, we would bring our RV because that's what we had and they used to say oh you know 
they tease us about ha living, not not living, uh, you know, a camping life, but luxury life. But I loved it. It had an oven. It had a stove. It had a fridge. It had um, uh, big, you know, living area. It was comfortable. I could live in there. I could have lived in there. And then above the uh, cab, the the driver's seats above had a big, big. Um, I guess you could, you know, could have been storage, but there was a bed up there, and the cat used to be there. Oh, my mom's calling me, uh, and I loved it, and I loved it. So I'm thinking that might be something I'll look forward to. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Uh, Mom was on the phone. She's having trouble with the TV, so I'm gonna leave my stuff in the car and walk over. Okay, I have to put that all together because I pressed the button to stop it. I'll lock the door. Bring my mom's keys with me. There we go. And lock my door. I'll come back. I'll show you my garden area. I don't know if you can see it or not. Anyway, we'll go see it after. Let's go for a walk. Let's go for a walk. Oops. Sorry about that. I hit my camera with my lanyard. Let's go for a walk. Oh, it's bums. Oh. having trouble with the camera again. There's my son's place. I'm holding the camera down so it doesn't look like I'm filming. <laughs> but I am. That's my son's place up there. His apartment. Now we're going to go around. Around, around, around. Around this building. And see my feet. <laughs> and that's Mum's building. We're going across. I don't bother taking the car because sometimes I can't get a parking spot. Ooh. It's windy, so you're probably going to hear me through the wind of the camera mic. No car is coming. I need to get one of those GoPros. Um, I found that they really, really work well. It was too windy to talk, so I didn't bother talking. Here we are, mom's apartment. Press the button up and hi. I walk fast and when I walk fast, I get out of breath. <coughs> and a cop, Ooh, here we are. Oh my God, I look terrible. I look terrible. <sighs> Windy too. I know, you don't like to see me that close. Oof. 
to think I used to walk everywhere, like every single place I would walk. I had good legs, good breathing. Oh, here we are. Here we are. Okay. Well, here. Here we are. Here I am. And I'll be back. There's Mom. <laughs> what are you doing? And there's David laying down. <laughs> Is that on? Okay, we're going to check her TV oh, out. Oh, oh, oh. Did you and I will this? be back. Okay, just finished at Mom's. Heading back home. <sighs> Poor Mom. Oh, we're going into the one that's packing. <sighs> Poor Mom. She has so much trouble hearing. And of course, when you're calling to change a builder to find out about a bill, um, they have to they have to check with her to make sure it's okay to talk to me and of course she was all upset about a bill but it was last year's bill we'd already changed it so here we go then It's going to be windy again, so we'll walk. We'll walk. Walking feet. Windy, windy. I hope you can see clouds. Clouds. Yeah, so mom's receiver for her cable in the bedroom wasn't working so we called to get the service guy to come and they're coming today holy crap I can't believe it son's bedrooms. What do I talk about? I don't know if they're home yet or not. I don't even know what time it is. <sighs> so we're going back home. Back home. I'm really, really surprised they don't have the grass cut yet. I mean, it looks pretty with the dandelions, but the grass is so tall. One of my neighbors was laughing because my dog is so short that he, <laughs> you can barely see him through the tall grass. There's dandelions. I'm gonna show you my setup over here. And I gotta go pick up stuff out of my car. Here, I've got it over here and then this is my little area here that I fixed up and my flowers my chair and my 
flowers. I put up a couple of little butterflies up on the wall. They're those, um, they call it a mirror kind of. These flowers are coming up beautifully. Just gorgeous. And then I have my dragonfly that was outside my bedroom window. And I think my other plants need a little bit of water. And then of course I got my fake flowers in with my good flowers. Ooh. That's so I love that. So I've got geranium, geranium, and I can't remember what the name of that is. Let's see here. It is the Sun Lantana Sun Lucky Pure Gold. They're supposed to come out really yellow. That's these ones here. Geranium there. And these are my little baby ones that I seedlings I tried in the house. They didn't come out very well. So I'm going to have to repot those right into the earth. Whew. And that is it. So I'm going to let you go for now. Go into the house. Go into the car and get my goodies from Dollar Tree. And I will return. We'll see you soon. Thanks for joining me. And uh, like, share, subscribe. Really appreciate it. Love your comments. I have to get on there and start answering some of your comments. Bye for now.